Well, Mike, congratulations in the end. Was it a deserved point, or do you think maybe you could have got all three? Um, I think before the um, start of the game, you know, looking at the team was playing, I think uh, we would have took a point, to be honest. Um, we said to the players at half-time, you know, there's nothing in the game. Keep believing. Uh, if you go a goal down, stick together and just play a bit quicker. Just try and speed it up a little bit, playing mm -hmm. out from the back. You know, in previous weeks, we have just walloped it and walloped it and walloped it. So I was... You know, I wanted the players to get out of the ball and play, but we didn't play with the tempo that we played with in training on Thursday, which possibly is understandable because you know there's 2,700 people there and there's there's nobody at training. Mm. So if you make a mistake in training, it doesn't really matter. But um, you know the lads stuck together. They went the goal down. You know Dean, all right, was at fault for the um, for the goal, but you know we didn't go under. You know his kicking was look a bit erratic at times, but you know he's playing big boys football now, and <laughs> you know yeah, I mean. <clears throat> yeah, a point. I think I would have took that before the game. And do you take some credit for the <coughs> tactical change you made? Kaodi Odajai coming on certainly made a difference, and their defence looked rattled when he appeared on the pitch. And he, of course, was, had the assist for the goal. Yeah, I mean, I, I said to Kay when he goes on, I said, you know, you go and win your headers, and we've got the um, the quick kid, and he'll just chase everything down. Um, you know, and, and he won an header, and then Delios gambled, ran on behind, like we've been asking him to do, and he, and he slots it away. Now, um, you know, I think his loan's up next week, so obviously, whoever's in charge, whether it be me or whoever, we need to speak to Everton I think and try and extend that to the end of the season because he has something that uh, other strikers haven't got at this football club but you know give the lads the credit the young in there and in the end you know I think we finished um, in the ascendancy you know against um, a top five team. It was a class finish from Delisle wasn't it and it had that touch of premiership quality about it. Yeah I mean Delisle you know he's a good kid you know he just said to me then you know about his loan being up he says I don't really want to go back to Everton and play under 18s football you know I want to stay here and play in front of um, these fans and play for this good football club so you know the kid loves it here you know we love him so hopefully something can be done. Have you enjoyed it today? Uh, been a bit of a roller coaster, <laughs> you know um, like I, I said to the, um, the sponsors before the game you know the way the, the players train on a Tuesday and a Thursday um, it, it bears no resemblance to what happens on a Saturday or it has done in you know recent weeks so I was I was a bit worried about that but as the game went on you know my nerves got less and less and when the goal went in and obviously four minutes goes up again you know I, I didn't really like seeing the four minutes because you know if you think of the goals I mean I was speaking to Youngie beginning this week um, after I've unfortunately lost his job and he said we conceded um, 12 points um, in goals in added time so if you had them 12 points to where we're at you know we're in the playoff place How do you feel for Neil obviously a big decision for him stepping down <coughs> do, you, do you think he's um, do you think he's got any regrets or is it just a case of uh, it had to happen um, you know football like I said to the sponsors it's a um, it's a points driven you know job if you don't get the points somebody's got to take the can and unfortunately um, you know it does end up with the manager um, them players in there are very good players you know by the not poor players mm. and I know what they do week in week out and Neil does but unfortunately for some reason they've not produced in the last six to eight weeks and um, you know Neil has lost his job I'm sure he'll pop up somewhere else you know I've gone on record as saying he's the most thorough manager I've ever been involved with that's a pro and um, mm. semi-professional or you know part-time um, you know he's a lovely bloke He's given me three DVDs of non-eating games this week, so I've been able to do my own work. You know, he cares about the football club. You know, I'm a good friend of his. You know, and I just wish him all the best in the future. That's good to hear. In terms of uh, of going forward now, what do you do? What what, what happens to the rest of the week now for you? Well, I, I retire now, undefeated manager. <laughs> 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 no, I mean obviously we've got a game on um, Tuesday at Congleton, yeah. uh, weather permitting. Now, um, you know the boys in there are buzzing now. You know, I think we have found a system that suits. Yeah. Um, which can be morphed into a different system. You know, we started obviously four, two, three, one, and then it went into a, a four, three, one, two, and you know, just put a little bit more pressure on the two centre halves. Mm. So it's food, you know, food for thought going forward. Um, the boys, they're happy. They can go away now and have an all right weekend. Mm. Uh, and in terms of, of the squad that Neil's assembled, you, from what you're saying, you've <coughs> still got belief in this squad. Most definitely. You know, I spoke to the sponsors and um, said to them. When I was at this football club, we lost the first six games of the season, and we went on a fantastic run, winning, you know, losing two in 26. We've got 17 games left, but we've got 16 left now. If we can win 14 of them, 13 of them, we're going to be there thereabouts. 
because everybody's beating everybody. They just got to have a bit of self belief. You know, today the changing room was different than what it was last mm. week. I don't know why, but it was different. They were more bubbly and they were up for it. So if they can continue as a group, collective, you know, driving each other on, and we'll see where it takes us. What about the support you've had from, from the fans? I mean, you're, you're a, a very accessible figure, aren't you? And uh, the fans have been able to get to you all week, really. Has that helped, do you think, or hindered sometimes? I think it's been a hindrance, really. I mean, wife, me and my wife are speaking this morning, and um, the level of expectation <laughs> of me being in charge was unreal. You know, it's um, every picture that was put on Facebook, there's like three, 400 likes, and <laughs> the comments are unbelievable. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very um, thankful for the support and yeah. everything, you know, that this club offers. You know, it was a big part of my life for 10 years, and hopefully, you know, in the years to come, I can give something back. Somebody came up in the first half and gave you a hug during the game. Yeah, it's funny. I, I don't think there's many managers stay about a <laughs> selfie with a fan during the game, but um, hey, oh, you know. I suppose that's being a manager. <laughs> so, you, uh, whatever happens, you're you're definitely going to be here for the long term. You, you you want to be involved going forward with Stockport County. I certainly do. You know, it's a fantastic football club. You know, it's been a big part of my life for a long time. And um, yeah, you know, whoever comes in, um, I, I would like to work under them. You know, whether it be a two or a three, but preferably a two. So, I enjoyed watching you today. Well done. Okay, thank you very much.